Hi everyone, this is Peter with Carries.net again. In this review, which is one of six, we are reviewing Opera Mini. And this series is reviewing browsers for the Android system. The phone in front of you is a Samsung Captivate by AT&T and it is running Android 2.1. So again, we're reviewing Opera Mini in this one. Let's get into it. Normally it will load, it will show a small loading bar, but for this instance and for the sake of shortening the review for you, the, for you guys, I have uh, already loaded some stuff on here. So when you load it up for the first time, this is what you see. Um, you see your home recommendation site page with big blocks as to either your favorite bookmarks um, or whatever you want to put in there. So you can select an address from the bottom, as you can see, or you can put one into the top. Uh, going back to the front page, you can see that we have a URL bar on the left, but then on the right, when you click it, turns it into a Google search bar. You click the drop-down menu once more, and you get to search um, whatever search engine you want, and you can manage those search engines. So let's go in. Um, when we're adding, oh, it does not look like we can add one at this time. So as of right now, these are the four that you have available, but I'm sure as Opera Mini, uh, goes to a more full release that you'll be able to add more of them. Let me try one more time. Nope, yeah, so it's not going to let us add it. Okay, so going back to the main page on the bottom, you have your back, forward, refresh, tab manager or window manager, and settings. Again, your refresh button is going to turn into a stop button, as you can see when it, a page is loading. Um, and it's going to go back to a refresh. Window management is actually kind of cool on Opera. It's um, almost like a cover flow idea where you can scroll through them and they kind of go behind each other as you just saw there. When you click on another one, it goes to the front and the others go to the back and the page instantly loads to that while keeping it open. So you can kind of browse through your different pages and again, they kind of rearrange themselves all into that kind of a pattern. So kind of cool feature. Um, so we'll go to the Facebook page. You can exit out. It has those X's in the top right. Let's try that again. There you go. Um, and again, the number on the bottom decreases when you exit. So let's go back to our main page and go to our settings. So from here, you can go to your bookmarks, your history, your downloads, your saved pages, find in a page, help, and settings. So your start page is going to be the one that you saw before with the nine tiles that you can customize. Again, most of these are going to be pretty simple. You have a clear all for your history. You're going back and going back to settings, your bookmarks, you can manage them, add new folders, add to your feeds. Going back to settings again, we have our downloads page. Of course, you haven't downloaded anything yet. Oh, too many backs. Start it up again. And finally, our settings. So, again, kind of really easy, like Fennec, Mozilla's mobile browser. It's not really a lot of options. It's more ons and offs, um, turning mobile views on and off, full screen, Opera Link, which is going to sync your Opera browser on your phone to an Opera browser on another device, um, image quality, font size, load images. It's a pretty standard option as we've seen before. Advanced really doesn't get you a lot of things here, and I would say out of all the browsers, this one has the most limited of settings options. So let's go back to the main page. Do you want to reload pages? So when you change settings, you've got to reload all your pages. And finally, I believe this one does not have, let's try once more. Yeah, so it doesn't have a clear cache and everything on an exit by holding down the back button, which Dolphin Browser does have. So that was Opera Mini. Um, again, this is a review with carries.net. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you can head over there for the full review and our recommendations. Otherwise, leave a comment below if you liked it. Leave a comment if there's something that I left out that you'd like me to update the video with. And you can find us on Twitter at Carace, or you can find us, again, at Carace.net. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.